welcome to my vlog. What have I got for you this week? No prizes for guessing what this is. Have you experienced shooting pain down the back of your leg during this period of lockdown? Many people have. So, how can this happen and what are the causes? Well, the cause of it, 80% of the time, it's mechanical and it's the discs that bulge out from the uh, vertebra and press on the sciatic nerve. So, this is it, basically. Here's the disc and there's the vertebra and the pressure between the two vertebra squash the disc and it bulges out and it causes pressure on the nerves. The sciatic nerve is a big nerve. It's as thick as your thumb when it goes through the bottom, through the buttock. So the sciatic nerve comprises of L4, L5, S1 and S2 and they form the sciatic nerve and that runs from your lower back all the way the back of your leg back of the lower calf and into the foot so what is it well it's commonly known as sciatic pain the sciatic nerve gets trapped and it gets trapped because of the bulging disc the bulging disc causes inflammation but it's not the inflammation that causes the sciatica or the sciatic pain it is the pressure on the nerve so when a nerve when the sciatic nerve gets compressed, that's when you get the pain. Imagine the nerve is like a cable. The cable's got a protective layer and it's got an inner layer in between that and then an, a middle layer. Now the outer layer is protection. The next layer contains all the sensory nerves. You know, the sensory nerves like touch, like rough surfaces hot surfaces, cold, all those sensory things. That's the first layer. And in the inner layer, you've got the muscular layer, the ones that supply the muscles. They call them the motor nerves. So when the nerve gets pressed, lo and behold, the first thing that the compression does, it aggravates the sensory nerves and the sensory nerves send the shooting pain down your leg. And it can be excruciatingly painful. So, how long does it last? If you seek no medical advice or physiotherapy, osteopath, chiropractic treatment, it will last six to 10 weeks, maybe slightly longer. But with our hints and tips, I can tell you how to try and relieve it a lot quicker. Now, how are you gonna relieve it? The first thing you're going to do is ice it. Ice it because the inflammatory process on the back with that bulging disc may cause more pressure. So if you ice it for 20 minutes every three hours, you may help reduce that inflammation and reduce the pressure on the sciatic nerve. Remember, do not put ice directly onto the skin. Always use a protective covering to begin with. So I suggest you do ice for at least two to three days to try and help alleviate that pain. The other hint and tip I'm going to give you is this. What do you want me to do now? I want you to I'm lay... to demonstrate how you lay on your tummy and do back exercise. Well, it's not so much a back exercise, it's a back position. And you prop yourself up. How's like... That? Yeah, that's good. Like a seal. On my front. Yeah. Prop myself up on my elbows. And it can be uncomfortable, but if it becomes uncomfortable, just lay flat. Sitting, it's going to speak again. How's that? Yeah, good. All right. Yeah, you can finish now. See you again soon. Okay, no Here's doubt. Now. Okay. I'll call on you again soon, my spitting image brother. When you sit, you cause 80% more pressure on your spine and on those discs than if you do standing. And the other thing is, people that do sedentary jobs, like desk jobs, are 80% more likely to suffer with the shooting pain down the leg or back pain and sciatic pain. Remember, 
Back pain is not sciatica. It's shooting pains down the leg into the foot that is sciatica. People that take regular exercise are the ones who don't suffer with sciatica the most or the least. Obesity, pregnancy, arthritis and other things can cause, don't cause sciatica or sciatic pain, but they can contribute to it. That's all from me for this week. If you want more hints, tips and great advice, visit our website atlphysio.com. Stay well, stay safe and I'll see you soon.